I talk about this guy, Will, all the time. So Will and I, growing up, we always went on little adventures, things like that. And one time we saved up all of our money to go to the Gemini Theater in Lompoc, California. And we were so excited because Eddie Murphy was the biggest comet at that time. Well, past time. And <laughs> he had a new movie coming out. It was Beverly Hills Cop 3. We saved a little bit of money. We were so excited. And, uh, you know, maybe we didn't save it. Maybe our parents just gave it to us. And we went to the Gemini. We had enough for popcorn and candy. And we were so excited to see this movie and see the comeback of Eddie Murphy, the greatest comedian of our time. And uh, we went and it was the most horrible movie uh, that we've ever seen half, you know, two, three, four minutes into it. We looked at each other and we were like, what is going on? This is the worst thing ever. And then they went to uh, what was a dressed up amusement park. It was Magic Mountain. We knew that because we knew uh, what it looked like. And there was a scene where he dressed up as one of the characters and uh, a person came up to him and said, you know, hey, are you okie dokie? And he said, yeah, yeah, that's who I am. And he obviously wasn't that. And uh, the little kid asked him to do the okie dokie shuffle. And so he started doing this awful okie dokie shuffle and he was uh, doing it and the kid just spotted him as a fake right away. And it brought to my, I was thinking about that yesterday, and what it brought to mind for me was, number one, number, uh, th- the third movie of any sequel is always going to be bad, and uh, <laughs> also, um, the, the situation where you're putting your faith into something that is not real is not the best thing in the world. And um, <laughs> uh, I learned that, uh, y- uh, you know, through that movie, but I didn't, it didn't hit me until yesterday. Because I was uh, talking about, or I was talking with God last uh, yesterday with my um, alone time, and uh, I was talking to him about being grateful, and he kept just getting on me, like, it's not about being grateful, it's just about being faithful. But it's not just about being faithful, it's who you have faith in. Do you have faith in the real one, which is me, or do you have faith in things that are the the artificial one, like the little okie dokie shuffle that uh, you saw with uh, <laughs> with Eddie Murphy? And I, he started to ask me. He said, "You know, like, do you have faith in me?" And at times I falter with this. At times I'm not grateful in my life. At times I'm not present. And I came back to the fact that I wasn't faithful. And the reason why I wasn't faithful is because I wasn't studying his character. And so he gave me (laughs) yesterday uh, while while we were looking through in Proverbs 20, uh, I believe it's 26. And um, he gave me this and said, like, here's a list of all the things, how you could spot a fake from a mile away. So that's what we get to share today, the corresponding proverb for the corresponding day inch stones. It's going to be so incredible. Let's get this party started. Nothing more on my mind. I got two shines for every day I climb. Work in the morning, work in the evening. We's achieving because we believe in. It's for certain we put the work in. We ain't stopped just because it's hurting. Right before your eyes. No surprise, the takeover is televised Over and over and over again Make no mistake, we continue to win Defeat never known, cause I will not lose They wanna mimic my moves, but can't walk in my shoes Technology is always, um, <laughs> it always works until it doesn't. And we were going to switch to our other uh, camera there, but uh, <laughs> that one is not working right now. So it all works out perfect because I get to stand here with you guys, have a little bit different energy, which would be amazing. And I want you guys to think about the okie doke. And we used to always joke about this as, as kids, well, Will and I, anytime we talked about the okie doke, we would think about um, uh, that time with Eddie Murphy, but also 
it became this little saying like, don't fall for the okie doke. Don't, uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he's doing the okie doke, which meant that he was faking the funk or he was trying to trick you. That, that thing was trying to trick you into it. And what God was talking about in Proverbs 26 was don't fall for the okie doke. And uh, not falling for the okie doke is understanding and knowing that <laughs> what is real and what is not. And it listed down in Proverbs 26, which was really cool, that all the things that are the components of being the real one, right? And so I want to run them down to you in verse 1 and 2. It talks about truth lines up and foolishness confuses. And anytime that you're looking for truth, there's always going to be uh, receipts for it. There's always going to be a backup for it. There's always going to be like these things will be in line. Like when you sa- when you talk truth or you speak truth, what will happen is like every single thing will, will fall into line. Oh, that starts to make sense. Okay. And then foolishness always confuses. So if you ever listen to somebody and they have a pitch and you don't have no idea what they're saying, but they're very wordy with it. And you see this a lot on social media, a ton. Uh, I see people say like, you know, I have, uh, I, I, I manifest abundance and I bring in all that. It's like, I don't know what you're saying. What do you mean? And anytime that someone tries to confuse or the thing is confusing, most of the time it's because it lacks truth. In verse three is you can't run from the truth. And this one, uh, when, when we talk about the okie doke, like it, it makes things very simple uh, in saying that you really cannot run <laughs> from the truth. Um, in verse four and five, wisdom will bring awareness. Acknowledgement will give you a desire or uh, here, here we go. Wisdom will bring awareness, acknowledge, uh, acknowledgement and give you the desire to aspire for more. Wisdom, the right use of knowledge. Wisdom comes from the fear of God. So the fear of God means the respect of God. If you have respect for him, it means that you actually spend time with him. If you spend time with him, then he will bring awareness to every single situation. He'll help you to be able to gain acknowledgement for that. And that acknowledgement will give you the ability to be able to aspire to something else. But before we're aware, before we acknowledge, we have the tendency not to want to aspire to anything else but what we're dealing with right then. So we're so locked into it. Um, In verse 6 through 11, 23, 24, 25, and 26, (laughs) gold-plated poop is still poop. And it talked about the fact that you could cover something up. You could cover something up with something shiny. You could cover something up. You could cover garbage with really valuable things. But at the end of the day, the core of it is what matters the most. What, and what he was speaking about here is that your heart is the most important thing that, that you'll invest in. And the only way that something gets into your heart is through your eyes, through your ears, or through your senses. So when we protect our eyes, when we protect our, uh, when we protect our ears... And we protect our senses from being around foolishness, that will guard our heart, right? Because whatever goes into our heart, will, uh, when the heart fills up, it'll actually come out our mouth and then we speak that into existence. And so, um, and it mentioned it in quite a few uh, verses. And in verse 12, wisdom comes from God, counsel comes from wisdom, and discretion comes from counsel. Let's go backwards. Discretion comes from counsel. Counsel comes from wisdom. Wisdom comes from God. Verse 12. I think it's self-explanatory. In verse 13 through 16, laziness brings pain and suffering. (laughs) That, again, is something that is, uh, (laughs) for me, is, I I don't like this. I didn't like this verse. I didn't like the way it uh, said it. It felt very judgy to me. It was like, you know, are you being lazy in any area of your life? Well, then you're going to have pain and suffering. And any time that I have pain and suffering is because I'm lazy, whether it be spiritually, physically, professionally, uh, uh, financially, all those things. Any time that I have pain and suffering, most of the time, it's because of laziness in that area. And sometimes the, you know, the, the, the pain and suffering that I have experienced in my life is because I am lazy in my praise because I'm not willing to praise God for the things that are coming. I want to wait until he gives me what I want. And then I praise as opposed to praising him before the thing happens, which is an act of faith. And that's exactly where he wants us all to be. (laughs) Um, Where is your, uh, in verse 17, it asks, where is your focus and what do you value? 
If you ask those two questions every single morning, where is your focus and what do you value? And what God was saying is like, if you want to know, if you want to be able to spot the okie doke from a, from a mile away, you want to be able to spot the fake from a mile away. Let me ask you this. Where's your focus? And what do you value? And in uh, verse 18 through 22, um, it, it really hit on uh, truth in thought, action, and, speak, and speech are an indicator of integrity. See, integrity is the same, would be in the same in the dark as you are in the light, and truth in thought, action, and speech. If you think great things, if you act on those great things, and then you speak about those great things, that's integrity, right? And it's an indicator of that. And we uh, finish up in verse 28, 27 and 28. You could tell a tree by its fruit, and the seeds of that fruit will produce more of the same. You see, Will and I, uh, growing up, um, and even to this day, we, we, you know, almost 50, uh, I'm almost 50 years old. He's just about to turn 50, October 11th, so happy birthday to uh, Mr. Will, is um, we laugh <laughs> because we got duped into wasting our money um, on quite possibly the worst movie in the world, which is Beverly Hills Cop 3. Um, but it, leaves us, it left us with a valuable lesson in, in Proverbs 26 today, you know, when it went through all that it did and it talked about, let me, let me just run these down really quick. So think about this. Truth lines up and foolishness confuses. You cannot run from the truth. Wisdom will bring uh, awareness, acknowledgement, and give you the uh, desire to aspire for more. Gold-plated poop is still poop. Wisdom comes from God. Counsel comes from wisdom, discretion comes from counsel. Laziness brings pain and suffering. Where is your focus and what do you value? Truth in thought and action and speech are an indicator of integrity. And you can tell a tree by its fruit and the seeds of that fruit will produce more of the same. And if we have that line, we can see, we can spot a a fake from a mile away. You see, Proverbs uh, 26, when I look at this, is it challenges us and, a- and asks us the question, in whom do you have faith? And then clearly shows us what to watch out for so we don't ever fall for the o- okey-doke. <laughs> See, when you question your faith, study his character. And this was a, a statement that God uh, gave to me yesterday. When you question your faith, Study his character, and you'll see that his character, his words, his actions are in line with his character, and you'll find that everything will start to move towards exactly where it needs to because God is big enough to have you exactly where he needs you to be at the exact right time. If he didn't need you there, he would have you someplace else. And I want to encourage every single one of you, please, number one, don't go and watch Beverly Hills Cop 3. It's a funny scene, the little okie doke That's the only part that we got out of it. But also what I want to encourage you is study and understand Proverbs 26, and it'll give you the blueprint on how to not fall for the (laughs) okey-doke. This has been another uh, episode of Inchstones. I appreciate you. My name is Kelly Cardenas, and I'm officially off the hot seat. Peace, love, and soul. Cause we believing It's for certain We put the work in We ain't stopped Just because it's hurting Right before your eyes So it's coming to no surprise The takeover is televised Over and over and over again Make no mistake We continue to win Defeat never know Cause I will not lose They wanna mimic my moves But can't walk in my shoes